Hana, the rocket engine, Diesel, the black engine, Percy, the small green engine, and Thomas, the tank engine, Puff Buffer, the buffer back home. It has been a busy day. First, Thomas had teased Connor about the time that the purple engine had slid into a pond. Then Thomas fell down a mine and, and Connor and his friends came to his rescue. Remember Thomas called Connor, United we stand, together we fall. You help me in, now I'll help you. Thomas said, I'll remember. Yeah, Diesel said, but I hope the top and half of us soon, said Diesel. Yeah, the pussy. Suddenly, they noticed something. As the four engines whistled into the sheds, everywhere they looked, they saw paint pots and painters. That's my buffers, said Thomas. What's happening? Shh, whispered Percy. The top and half is going to tell us now. Ladies and gentlemen and engines. I am I'm honored to clean her, her majesty, the queen herself is coming here to visit us. Now, now with the preparations, the engine wondered who will pour the royal train. I'm too busy to pour important trains, said Thomas. I'm in disgrace, said Connor. Percy said, he'll choose me, of course. You, said Diesel. Percy, you can't climb hills. He'll ask me to pour the royal train, said Diesel. And now I have a new coat of paint. Then the rain came. Diesel's driver and has covered up the cab to keep dry. A painter was on the ladder above the line. Diesel smoke blew high in the air. The painter couldn't see. Well, he and the paint pot fell out over Diesel. Poor Diesel. Well, you're not a pretty picture, sneered the painter. Sir Topham has spoke next. You look like an ice cake, Diesel. That won't do for the royal train. I must make other arrangements. Choo choo, said Duck. Choo choo, said Donald. Connor and Thomas were waiting for him. Please, sir. One at a time, one at a time we passed the top and half. Yes, yes, Connor. Thomas may Thomas have his brand trying again? Hmm. hmm. I think you both, both are sorry and deserve a treat. Percy will go in front to clear the line, and Thomas will go to the coaches, and Connor will pull the train. True, true. The great day came. All the engines worked hard to and bringing people to town. Thomas sorted out their coaches in the yard. Choo choo, said Duck. Choo choo choo, said Percy. Choo choo, said, choo, said Thomas. Percy steamed in. He, the queen is here. Then Connor whistled as he approached the station. Everyone knew that sound. The Queen's train glided into the station. Connor's front and his paint shone nicely. So top and half stood to attention. Welcome, ma'am. The Queen thanked him for his brilliant ride and asked to see all the engines. Peep, peep, was all Connor and Percy. Shh, the diesel. But Connor and Percy didn't care. Free cheers for the Queen! Choo choo choo! Whistle the, the engines. When it was time to leave, the Queen spoke especially to Thomas and for who fetched his coach, then to Diesel, then to Percy, and finally to Connor, who took her away. No engines ever felt proud of those on the top and half of the railway.